This night is so long that I forgo my name. Winter was lean. Autumn was lean. Summer was lean. Spring I can't remember. I wrap myself in fine linen and lay in a bed of velvet that is drifting down a long and frozen river, arms crossed in an attempt to feel the old and familiar beat. This night is so long that God should grant me gills. Oh, to see your home fill up with water like smoke, still home but lacking gravity. At least in leanness, I would fall asleep in bed and wake up there too. Now my mornings are lost, and you will not understand this, and I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want you to. All this time in the river, and there is doom in my lungs. I'm born of it and with it. Women in the water. Naked women in the naked water. Women and water and women. And we all started to cry. This night is so long, I believe it is a part of me. I look at my hands and it makes me tired. I look at my feet. Floating down a river, I begin to die. One by one, I feel my limbs fall off until I am scarcely more than the river itself. I want to go to sleep. And suddenly I open my eyes on a wet and dark beach, shivering, silent. I look around and see eyes in the shadows just beyond. He steps out of the darkness and becomes the darkness. He tells me that I am cold and this is true. This is true. I am cold and hell is hot, and I am stupid and he is not. What is it? Which is it? Why is it? He takes me and my fine linen to an ill-lit chapel where a man I do not know lights candles and whispers an untrue psalm. The darkness takes my hand and holds it over an open flame. Leanness and ice remain in my mind, but my hand burns, aches, opens, and is eaten away by a tiny fire. I can smell my blood and flesh. I cannot see his eyes. Then the strange man prays over us, so I do not know his God. The darkness says, I do, and marries me. I, drowned bride of ice and fire, at least in leanness, lone in longing. I, absorbed in this night that is so long, it forbears me. This night is so long, I can feel it inside. In nomine patri, et fili, et spiritus sancti. Give me back my legs. I need my legs, my God, my legs. Give me back my hair, my God. I need it to turn gray. My birthday, my God, give it back. I pray. My body is not my own. First my body was mine, and then I was just my body, and now I am not even that. I am inside of something and I cannot get out. What do I feel inside if I do not have an inside? I'm not even mine. I have no even mind. Jesus, Emmanuel, son of our father, I was told we were related. This night is so long I remember when it began. And it began with the first and final set of eyes. And then there was pain. And then there was pain. And pain, there was pain. Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani. Why have you loved me and let me die? Why have you not let me die? Why have you led me to be here, so far from my mother? Why have you taken my mother from me? Why have you not let me die? Why have you allowed me to keep my tongue and diaphragm, plagiarized by glass as they are? Why have you allowed me to remember in half-hearted halves and heartfuls of hell, but never to make it human? Why have you allowed me to mine my mind? Why have you led me to be here, alone? Why have you led me to be here, so far from myself? Why do you raise my trust closer to you and watch it fall? Why did you teach me to write, by the words? Why have you made a night so long it forsakes my name? This night is so long I forget how to wake. It keeps me like a secret as a secret. I used to live in the city and now I live in the wall. There is space six inches deep, not even enough to lay down. Though it is my own mind, I cannot command control. Always there is running in and out. There is a hurt inside of me that... I used to live in my mother, and now I live in the mirror. Though it is my own body, I cannot control command. Always there is bleeding in and out. There is a hole inside of me that... 
used to live in my life, and now I live in here. This night is so long, so solely longly long. It is the biggest party I've ever seen, one of dreams or high court. I invite all our friends, all his, all mine, all our cousins and sisters and saints. We dress up like confession. Me in a floor-length white gown and five-inch heels and stars painted across my eyelids. And he, the darkness, in the shadows. We feast and blow sweet smoke. We eat cranberry sauce and chocolate mousse and creams and raw fish and thick breads and red meat right off the bone. We drink gallons of milk and Moscato and the juice they can't fruits in. His dogs are there. I accidentally leave the door ajar and they run away. And then we go outside, where there is a pool and a projector and our three-month-old baby, a secret I keep like a secret suffocating below six feet of dirt. The darkness stands on the diving board and raises an empty glass toward me, opposite him and full of something alive. He says, he pops a bottle of champagne with one hand, and with the other hand, he shoots me point blank. The sound of entering and exiting is synonymous. My blood, golden and heavy with beads, showers down upon all our friends and cousins and saints, and they will not be able to rinse it off, no matter how much chlorine they are doused in. And a symphonic orchestra swells in the pit to the right of me, and a melange of riot police and paparazzi take my picture to the left. And he laughs, and I die, and he drinks, and I die, and the champagne mixes us all in soupy ceremony as I fall forward. And I taste stars, and I will never know if it is the spray or the sky or my eyes, because I am dying. It would have been so romantic, so lovely a night. But so la vie, I sigh to the water, and sink face down, and I'm dead. This night is so long, I forget my name. I keep coming out of myself, becoming born and unborn. Now I wish to rest, to be put to rest, to put it all to rest. Death did not last as long as I expected it to. After a while, I simply woke up and clawed my way through the dirt, past the secret baby, past lean solemnity, and erupted into reality and style. Beneath the shallowest of my skins, there is no more fear, just a sea of red jelly and warm water. Death is synonymous to birth in this way a trickle of red jelly and warm water. So softly does the water sing of oceans, so softly does it sing, so sweetly, so holy is the sea. I want now to be a poem that lasts forever. I want never to be alone and alone always to remain. Ripped apart on the thorns of Guadalupe, I want to be radicalized, demonified, resurrected. Oh, so softly will I sing of oceans, so softly will I sing, so sweetly, so holy to be me. My name is pure war poetry. My name is not alone in print, disembodied, disemboweled, delusional or destitute in comparison to its court. My name is not in English or German or French. My name is not sitting in the corner of someone else's mouth, as it is not allowed to be chewed, spat up, swallowed. My name is not dead in the water swim. I've written a million words about how I have died. Your recite, the death of a beautiful woman, is, unquestionably, the most poetical topic in the world. Here is my poetry for you. I die and don't stay dead. I die and come again and again and again and again and again. Make friends with the church mice at my funeral. Get to work with the head full of maggots. Wear a rigor mortis like a robe, again and again and again. The truth is as internal as blood or a prayer. The truth is red, wet, and holy. This night was so long. I forgive and rise. <laughs>